This is very slick and the mud is sticking to my boots. Whoa. All right, folks, welcome to the Primal Outdoors channel. Today we're just out and about uh, exploring some desert area. Uh, we're at a trailhead. We've got the van parked there behind us and we're going to hike down to uh, the Deschutes River where I'm hoping to be able to do some fishing. I believe I got the fishing pole here on my back and uh, of course always taking the camera with me just in case any photo opportunities come up. It is a pretty cloudy day today and in fact it did snow a little bit. You'll see a little bit of patches of snow here and there on the hills. Uh, but it was just kind of like a spring sn morning snowstorm and then it's pretty well melted. But it did make it fairly muddy coming in. You can see the mud uh, trailing right up to the van. Uh, so a little bit muddy and sloppy. So if it doesn't get much better than this, I think we'll fish today and spend some time down on the river. But then I think we'll just camp right here at the trailhead. There's no signs or anything that say I can't do that. And being the fact that it's the middle of the week, I don't expect anybody to be out here anyhow. All right, so admittedly we're squirreling off just a little bit. Uh, it's been a long, long time since I've hiked this trail and I've actually only hiked it once in my life. And I don't remember anything about an old bridge. And when I was hiking along there, I saw a trail marker that said to old bridge site. Now I know that the last time I hiked this, I went down to the river. And like I said, that was a few years ago and I've only done it once. And I don't have any recollection of this old bridge site. So I thought, uh, why don't we just go check this out? Now I will mention too that the uh, rain and snow that we've had today has made this trail real muddy. You saw how it was up at the top and it's been that way on the trail a little bit as well. And so I've had to really watch my footing going down because every once in a while you just take a step and your feet slide a good six to eight inches and if you aren't paying real close attention you'll fall right on your butt but it has been a fairly pretty walk we are having spring-like weather and with spring-like weather comes spring-like flowers and uh, the whole hillside is just covered in this like yellow uh, flower and I'm starting to see some other purple flowers as well the, I have to say the high desert can really come alive and really start to pop this time of year. It's really pretty awesome. All right, well, it didn't take long and we are at what is called the old bridge site. Now I'll have to do some research online because uh, I can't see anything too much here. There is a really nice little view to stand here and look out over this creek. This isn't the main river I'm headed to the fish. This is a tributary coming in to the river called Weiches Creek. But apparently there must have been a bridge that spanned across this little area here at one point in time. The only thing I've been able to see is just right down here. There is a couple of cement pillars uh, that you can see coming out of the hillside. I don't see anything on the other side that indicates that there was a bridge here. So they did either a really good job of dismantling it or it just really did erode away and is completely gone. But uh, other than a really beautiful view, which is definitely worth the look, uh, there's not really much here to see. So I think what we're gonna do is, it looks like the trail continues on. So I'm gonna see if it just will link up and we can catch up and continue heading down to the river. Apparently I should do a little bit more research on these places when I uh, want to come and check them out. But there's a sign right here that says, you know, that the maintained trail ends here. It definitely looks like if I was to try to continue down this creek, it just gets pretty brushy. And I was, if I don't fall on this rock right here, just right up there the last time I was talking to you as far as uh, talking about that bridge. So I just basically came around and dropped down to here. So it does look like if I want to go back to the river and try fishing, I'm going to have to backtrack up the trail, 
which isn't a big deal because it just wasn't that far. I tell you what guys this trail definitely does not disappoint in amazing views i mean look at this stellar view we have right here we are going to actually start working our way down into the canyon and towards the river but we've been up on this hillside and had pretty much 360 degree views all the way around and it's pretty spectacular especially on kind of a dramatic day like today where you got a little sun and, and storm clouds just really adds to the overall scenery so but yeah we're going to start working our way down into this canyon and uh I hopefully start making our way down to the river. Well guys, I just about ate it there. Well, I kind of did. You can see where my feet all slipped and I got caught myself mud on the hands. This is very slick and the mud is sticking to my boots, making it even worse. Okay, no s around here. All right, check that out. If we did have a nice little rainstorm, it'd be a little spot to maybe get out of the rain though. You always do have to be super careful if you're gonna do that, that uh, that doesn't come crashing down on you, but I'd jump in there if I had to. I think it'd hold for a little bit longer. So a little detour here, check out this. Oh man, that is super cool. Whew. Looks like a popular place for people to carve their initials. I'm pretty sure that hieroglyphics is not that old, but man, what a cool spot. And I imagine when there's a big rain, you get a little water coming down through there. That's pretty awesome. I'm also seeing here, and I don't know if it's Gonna show up in this camera, but I'm betting that's bat guano that you see there. And kind of that really wet, kind of drippy coming out of those uh, little cracks. I keep jacking around, I'm never gonna get to do any fishing today. Well, Nature isn't always a beautiful thing. Here's where a deer looks like. I'm doubting this deer actually died here. I'm betting that I was just up there in that little cavern and I bet you when there was a big rainfall, he, was, he or she was washed down. Um, but I'm betting it was killed up on top. There are definitely cougars in this canyon. Uh, in fact, they're pretty well known for being in here. And I've also seen some elk sign actually in here. There is a small herd that comes here in frequency every once in a while, but I've been seeing some scat. It's kind of old, but I see it every so often. But man, the thing is, Donald, if you're paying attention, Donald, are you seeing all of these cliff faces? I am sure you would just be ecstatic in here. I didn't bring my drone to do any cool shots, so. I guess maybe you'll have to come and make your own episode here, but yeah, look at all this. Just awesomeness all the way around. Man, I tell you what, what a beautiful little spot that I have come to here uh, where the creek is flowing, continuing to kind of flow down. Now, I do have one issue in order to continue along the trail. The trail continues over there and I have to cross the creek. So if I want to get to fishing, I, for whatever reason, I remember this being much smaller last time. I'm not sure. 
but I'm not to be deterred, so we're gonna cross the creek. All right, boots in hand, barefoot, going in. It's kind of rocky. Hopefully it's not too deep. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Well, I tell you what, it's not warm. Success. Didn't fall in the water. All right, well, we found a nice little spot to sit down, put our boots back on. Got another dead animal next to us. Just further proof that there are cougars in here. And you know you gotta watch those cougars. They will sneak up on you. And before you know it, you're married with kids. So I should point out that uh, not all the dead deer that we have been seeing out here have probably been killed by a predator. I mean, like I said, there definitely are cougars in this area and there's plenty of coyotes, but most of them probably were killed during the winter and they just died from, I don't know, being sick or just not making it through the winter. I used to live in this area before van life and uh, I remember one snowstorm that was pretty bad and when it started melting off and I could get back out and start exploring the canyon, I found lots of dead deer that had died through the snowstorm, didn't make it. Where's that little rock overhang when you need it? You got a little bit of a slush storm. It's definitely not that cold. Doesn't feel like hail, but it's definitely not full on snow, but there's definitely some consistency of ice to it. So, and I've also mentioned that this trail seems a lot longer than I remember. I'm sure there's a river, I mean not this river, but another river down here. All right, well, we're getting down here. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And uh, it's just, Beautiful little oasis down here. You got big old ponderosa pines mixed with some juniper and then the river which I'm just about to show you. It's a proper raging river since it is springtime. I don't know what the fishing is going to be like because this thing is a flowing but man beautiful. All right, so we're just kind of finishing up, getting set up for fishing. I'm just gonna be using my ugly stick with a little Panther Martin lure. Now I brought my big backpack down so I could carry some extra gear, have some camera gear that I wanted, and also jackets and food and water and all those things. But for my birthday, Megan got me this little sling bag and so I've got all my fishing lures and fishing kit in it. And I just threw it inside the backpack to get it down here. But I think this is gonna be super handy for just trying to fish along the river here.
Well guys, this might be a bust because I just can't find a spot where I can get to the river and actually cast. So, I don't know, there's only the one spot over there with the rocks, but the water's rushing so fast that it just swifts my lure right down the river. I'm not getting anything. I've tried upstream, I've tried downstream a little bit, but I'm just brushed out everywhere I go. And uh, the river's just flowing so hard because of spring. I'm sure if maybe if I would have brought some waders down here, I might be able to have a few more options, but being without waders and with the river so high, it's almost impossible. But in the end, whatever, it's not a big deal. I didn't really care if I caught fish or not because it's trout. and I'm, I don't hate trout, but I'm not a huge fan of eating trout. So whether I caught something or not, I was going to release it. So it's really just about getting out here and enjoying this beautiful day. And right now it is very beautiful, though. You see we've got some storm clouds coming, so I don't know. I think we might just uh, enjoy a little time down here and then hike on out. All right, folks, well, we're all packed up. It didn't turn out to be the fishing adventure that I had hoped for. Like I said, river's just a little too blown out. Couldn't seem to find anywhere where I wasn't just getting hung up in the trees or wadded up in some way. But in the end, it's still been a great day to get out. It's been a beautiful hike. Beautiful still just to be down here and in this beautiful canyon uh, with the rocks and the formations. And every once in a while, you just get these little peaks of sunshine that come through. It lights everything up really nice. Everything's super green right now. And uh, yeah, it's just stunning. So good adventure anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a like. If you've got any comments or questions, leave those down below. And we'll catch you guys again outside. Whew. Man, if you could only see the view i have out in front of me it is spectacular it's beautiful i'm telling you if you just turn around just turn around and look at it good looking at me good looking at me look just turn around just turn around i'm telling you it's beautiful see turn around